almost back in session and school supplies are lining the shelves at retail stores, but parents and students aren't the only ones spending money on the supplies. A recent study by the National Center for Education Statistics shows that 94% of public school teachers spend their own money on school supplies for their classrooms. I would say at least a couple hundred dollars. The average amount spent by each teacher is $480. Everything just kind of accumulates after a while. Stephanie Cox is a third grade teacher at Creekside Elementary in Winterville. She says despite a small stipend in the beginning of the year, she still shells out a big chunk of cash. It's definitely frustrating um, because we feel like that's what we need for our classroom to run effectively. Um, we are given a certain amount of funds to spend on things every year, but it's just not sufficient enough to have everything covered that we need. Plus, teachers can only deduct up to $200 a year on taxes, and that includes any school-related expense. Cox says the assigned school supplies list for her classroom can run about $30 to $40 per child, but she personally pays another $30 to $40 per child for supplies not on the list. This year I bought a lot of books. I buy labels, I buy laminating pouches, I buy um, organizational supplies such as bins to store their notebooks in. She also buys tape, magnets, and supplies to make bulletin boards for her students. Donations from friends and family can be the saving grace for teachers. A lot of teachers have been posting an Amazon wish list. I don't know if you've seen that trend or not, um, but I was really fortunate that a lot of my family and friends have sent me some things. Um, otherwise, I probably would have spent about two to three hundred dollars. From July 30th to August 2nd, Suddenlink and Parents for Public Schools of Pitt County are collecting school supplies. You can drop them off at Suddenlink on West Arlington Boulevard in Greenville. Katie Augustine, 9 on your side.